Welcome to another edition of uh, of Suplexes, Scores, and Save Points. Hashtag SSS Pod. I am Ryan, being joined by my co-host, my brother, my friend. It is uh, Nathan. Hey. That's a little baseball. A little baseball. I'm trying to do Chris Berman. I can't do it. Yeah, you can't. No one can do Berman like Berman. So, welcome back to the Scores slash Sports Podcast. I cannot talk today. This is... Uh, <laughs> God. We crowned an NBA champion. We also crowned a WNBA champion to talk about. And we've got some NFL nudes and other fun stuff for you today. We will start with, of course, the NBA as the finals are now completed. And congratulations go out to LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the rest of that team, uh, the Los Angeles Lakers. They beat the Miami Heat in six games to the championship. Yeah, it's the Lakers' 17th title. Trailing the Celtics, who have 22 titles. The NBA has only been around since the 60s. If you add up all those titles, it's like, man. (laughs) Over half. I'm just saying. More than more. Yeah, over half. More than half of the championships have been won by two teams. Yeah. A little bit ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, it was – the Heat tried to make a comeback. Uh, they, they they were in it every game almost. They, they was a, it was a good back-and-forth series. Uh, in the end, LeBron and AD get the win. Um, LeBron was finals MVP again for the, I think, third time? Second time. Something I don't remember. Could have been all four times. I don't know. LeBron wins his fourth finals. Uh, he is now four and eight, I think, total in finals appearances. Anthony Davis gets his first. Um, coach, the former coach of the Indiana Pacers, uh, gets a win, uh, gets the finals, which kind of sucks that we let him go, but whatever. Speaking of coaches, Pacers are still looking for a head coach. They have not hired one yet. Uh, rumors are suggesting that they're going to uh, go after a New Orleans Pelicans uh, assistant coach for their coach. Uh, Tyron Lou. I don't know. They're still on the running with a couple other people, but no, no big name. It's going to be an assistant, it seems like. Uh, even though, you know, they should try to make a run at one of the big names that's out there, but I guess not. Uh, Ty Lou agreed to become the new head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, he signed a five-year deal today. Uh, Stan Van Gundy uh, met with the Pelicans today as far as their open coaching uh, vacancy. Yeah, how come they can go after Stan Van Gundy, but Pacers can't go after, Pacers, go after assistants? Because the Pacers don't have the money to offer anybody any money. They're, they, it's it's ridiculous. They're, the Pacers, we were both Pacers fans, but Realistically, they're never going to do anything in the NBA because they're a small market team and no one, no free agent actually wants to go there. And when they get a good player, they want to leave immediately as soon as they don't win right away. So it's, 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 it's hard to win when you don't, when you can't keep people, like you can't keep players around, you can't keep coaches around. Um, I actually wanted them to go after Becky Hammond. I thought that's who they should have hired, not just for the hiring a woman thing, but she's been coaching under Popovich for this long. I feel like she would be a great head coach um, and maybe bring some of the success. Is anybody sign her yet? No, nah, she's still an assistant. I mean, she's still going to be the assistant. I'm pretty sure she's going to end up taking over for Popovich when he leaves. Um, that's just what I'm thinking. Uh, I mean, and the San Antonio is there because they're not a big market. I mean, it's Texas, which gives them an advantage, but they're not a huge market, and they've won, like, five championships. So, God damn it. No, I don't. 
But yeah, so the Lakers win. So now uh, we'll look what forward, happened, uh, to the draft. What happened in the WNBA? Uh, the Seattle Storm swept in five, three, whatever, how many games? Uh, the Seattle Storm, though, did win the WNBA championship. Uh, they swept game three. Uh, they blew out the Las Vegas Aces, 92 to 59 in game three. Uh, three game sweep. Brianna Stewart was finals MVP. So the WNBA. And you said the NBA draft is coming up soon. Uh, we with the, with the yeah. rush season. We are to the off season now, um, so we've got the draft and all the madness of that. Uh, I don't remember exactly when the draft takes place, though. So. Well, I know that I know that the next season starts in either the end of December or early January. So. Yeah, I don't know if they've actually locked down a date yet. Oh, uh, it's November eighteenth. Is when the draft will be held. Uh, yeah, so not too not too far away. So that's the new next big thing on the on the market for the for the NBA. I'm not sure how this is going to work this year because usually, you know, the draft happens in the summer. The players have all the rookies have all summer to get equated with the NBA season and the way the NBA works. And now they're going to have about two months, uh, not even. So right. it's going to be interesting how. The rookies that get drafted this year, even if they even play much at all, this well, kind of, not only that, but what do you go by? I mean, and most, college. Of, well, most of them haven't played since March of last of this year. They haven't yeah. played any basketball since March of this year, and now they're going to go out and try to play professionally after sitting out for almost an entire year. And it's going to be. Going to be interesting. So that's what we're looking forward to now in the NBA is the draft. Uh, we'll be having news probably about coaching hires and rumors about that. But for the most part, it'll be slow NBA news for a while until we get about a month away to the draft. So we'll keep our eye on any of the big major news that happens. But for the most part, we're looking forward at for the majority of this podcast remaining, it'll be NFL and a little bit of MLB well, because the MLB is now – into their yeah. uh, playoffs. So. Uh, before we get into those, I do want to mention that NASCAR, I finally watched the race. <laughs> uh, it's, been, it's been a while. I, I watched like the first six races of the year and then I quit. But uh, I did watch the last race and they have cut the field down to eight. So that last race cut the field down to eight. I think there's only like four races left. So... Who won? Just throwing that out there. Who won? It was. Just a second. It was. Who won? Either Kevin Harvick or I think. Yeah, I think it was Kevin Harvick. You don't even know. I don't wasn't paying attention. I watched it, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it was a road. It was a road course. Yeah, they're doing a lot of road courses now. It was Chase Elliott. It wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was one of those guys. But uh <laughs> And Kyle Harvick or Kyle Bush but, yeah, has been uh knocked out of playoff uh, out of contention. Yeah, he, yeah, he got knocked out, Austin Dillon got knocked out, Kurt Bush got knocked out. Quite a few. Uh also uh Clint Boyer will be retiring. Uh he's gonna start oh, really? he is gonna be doing broadcasting. So he's gonna do probably for Fox. He's gonna Join the broadcasting booth. So Clint Boyer will be, I don't know, right. finishing out this season. I'm sure he is, and then he'll Clint Boyer will be done. So had a pretty good career, you know. I don't. He never really won the championship or anything. Uh, so yeah, but he won a lot of races. But he's very entertaining. I used to watch when they were doing the E NASCAR uh, thing. Man, they had Clint Boyer on there, and it was uh, he was he was highly entertaining. So hopefully he can bring that to the actual races and make it a little bit uh. Entertaining. They need something. Those, that, that booth is by the old guys that are boring as hell. You don't like Daryl Waltrip? Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into baseball since it is we are in the World Series now. We have made it to the World Series. Uh, it is the Dodgers and oh wait, no, no, we're not to the World Series yet. We're in the we're in the championship series. I forgot. 
We're in the yeah, AM in the, and the NLCS. We were in the yeah. CS. We've got the Dodgers and Braves and Tampa and Houston. Uh, we are to game six of the ALCS Tampa and Houston. Tampa currently is up three to two. Uh, game five. Right. Game six is tonight, the day of recording, and it's actually about to come on. Let's go, Tampa. Uh, please, please, please yeah. knock out Houston out of this World Series. I don't I don't want to see them in it. And yeah. And the Dodgers got, and the Braves are also like one game away from ending it. I think Dodgers, the Braves are up three to one. Dodgers and Braves. Braves are three to one. That game's also today. So Braves can put it away, which is crazy because the Dodgers well, we could be in the World Series after today. The Dodgers were like the best team all season long. I did all those, you know, weekly updates, and the Dodgers had the best record the entire time. But it's because they were playing a week. I'm telling you, it's just because they were playing a weak division. The yeah. NL the NL West was not good. And no. that's all they played, and now it's coming back to bottom in the butt. So so hopefully it'll be Rays and – I don't like the Braves, but as long as the Rays get in, I don't care. Not kicking <laughs> out. I'm, I am – the fact that they made it this far just tells me they cheated their way back in. <laughs> <laughs> so after this week, probably uh, next week, we'll be down to just football. Uh, we will be no more baseball yeah. scores, no more football, NBA scores. Uh, we'll have NFL and NCAA, and that will be – a little bit of NASCAR and stuff, and we'll be that'll be about it until we get to um, I think December when NB, the NCAA starts <laughs> basketball. Right. Uh, with the, got a little MMA news. Uh, Chris Cyborg defended her Bellator championship uh, last night. She won with a submission, which is the first time she's ever won with a submission. So there's that. Um, they're trying to get. Conor McGregor to fight Justin Gaethje or somebody. They're trying to get him to fight, or no, it's Poirier. They're trying to get him to fight. We'll see if it happens. Somebody said he verbally committed, but we'll see. Uh, and we have Gaethje and Habib uh, pay per view coming up. I think it. I don't think it's this Saturday. I think it's next Saturday. So that's a big one. Habib is still undefeated. He doesn't fight very often, but he's still undefeated. He's the champion. <laughs> so, so there's that. Get your little MMA in there. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, so let's go into just the meat and potatoes of this podcast. Let's get to the NFL. Week five scores. Uh, a little crazy week as COVID took a couple games away. Uh, a couple games got moved. We had a game on Tuesday, which was fun. Uh, it, it, it's just going to keep happening. I mean, there's teams yeah. keep getting uh, – we've got games postponed from two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I mean, it's – we'll see if they can even make it through this season without too much more headaches, but I doubt it. Uh, we well, did I'll have, tell you one thing. We did have some – There is one team. Yeah. Yeah, there's one – I was just going to say, there is one team that's really, really hoping this, that this season makes it to the end, and that is the Browns. <laughs> yeah, the Browns are finally having a good year. Um, we will. <laughs> that, would, that would suck if it got canceled. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, so we, we got, we'll get into the, the big news and the big stories. We had a couple, uh, we had a major injury uh, in the NFL I want to get to. Yeah. But, so on Thursday, we had the Bears and the Buccaneers. Uh, the Bears, once again, somehow squeeze out a victory. And Nick Foles beats Brady again. Final score, 20-19. to 19, Very low scoring. Uh, the, the Buccaneers got out to a 10-0 lead at the end of the first. But then the Buccaneers took a 14-13 to 13 lead. Uh, and then the rest of the game was all field goals. Two field goals in the fourth for the Bears. Win it by one. 2019. Uh, not a very exciting game if you like offense in this one. Uh, but if you're a defensive fan, this was probably for you. And if you're a fan of kickers, by God, you got a fair share of kickers kicks in this game. Uh, but Nick Foles once again beats Brady. 2019. Buccaneers fall three and two, and the Bears are now four and one. 
I don't right. think very many people predicted that. No. Uh, the morning games on Sunday was the Carolina Panthers. Oh, I have once again beat the poor Atlanta Falcons. They are now 0-5. The Panthers went yeah. 23 to 16. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater threw all over the field on them for 313 yards. Panthers win it three. Uh, they are now down the, they are now three and two on the year. Uh, poor Falcons. I, Matt Ryan, this could be the end of him. I mean. Yeah, he's he, been in the NFL a long time, but he's finally having a bad year. And the NFL, you know how it goes. If you, yeah. you have a bad year, it, it could be over. Uh, and what was probably the biggest upset of the week, the Las Vegas Raiders upset the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs. Raiders went at 40-32. to Derek Carr had one of the best games of his career, throwing for 347 yards, three touchdowns. Josh Jacobs had 77 yards and two touchdowns. And finally, the rookie, Henry Ruggs, gets a touchdown, his first of his career. Uh, this was a great game. Uh, Raiders, finally, I think, if they can play like this every game, they'll be good. Uh, they proved that if you pressured Patrick Mahomes, he doesn't do too well. Um, and they they pressured him all game and took him away um, and ended up winning it, 40-32. So Raiders are now – Three and two on the year. Chiefs fall to four and one, uh, but they have an identical record in conference, which means a lot. So, well, you say he didn't do too well. He still, they still had thirty-two points. Well, he still played well. You, you can. <laughs> so, if you pressure Mahomes, he becomes he goes from an elite quarterback to a really, really, really good quarterback. You're still not going to stop him. <laughs> He's still great. No. But you can slow him down and... enough to, to, to maybe. When, and not only that, but then we got some choo-choo oh, we go. speculation station. I am your conductor for this speculation station with the rumor that is Le'Veon Bell could be signing with the Chiefs, I making know, them even stronger than they are. I yet. don't even know if that's a rumor anymore. I think that's been guaranteed. I think that's actually happening. Oh, boy. That sucks. Uh, they're already fucking tough. Yeah, he signed a one-year deal. It's that's not. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, that's insane. That's <laughs> yeah. Insane. So now they're going to be even better. They have like four running backs that are just. <laughs> In another Lord. game, the Cardinals beat the Jets, who are also winless. Cardinals win it thirty to ten. Um, Cardinals are three and two. Jets zero oh and five. Uh, yeah, Jets just. Another team that's just uh, struggling kind of hard right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that entire like playing football. Yeah. Um, New York as a whole, just New York Jets and Giants, just neither one are just uh... – Oh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the NFC East. <laughs> Speaking of the NFC East, the Steelers beat the Eagles. Yeah. Steelers are now undefeated, 38-29. Eagles 1-3-1 and on the year, uh, but still in second place in the division. Uh, <laughs> actually, I think they're no, yeah, they're 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 in second place in the division at one three and one. All because of a tie. All because of a tie. The other one of the other teams in the AFC East, NFC East, the Washington Football Team lost to the Rams thirty to ten. They fall to one and four, so they are in third place in the division, uh, still within striking dance distance of winning, as the Giants. Yeah. And the Cowboys played each other. So one of these teams was, well, I can't say guaranteed to win. Uh, Cowboys beat the Giants 37-34. Uh, Cowboys are now 2-3, and three, so they're in first place in the division. Giants 0-5, oh but yet somehow are still with, could still win the division. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're not out. Yeah, wide open. Uh, this game, obviously, uh, obviously we want to talk about the entry and – for the Cowboys for uh, Dak Prescott. Uh, yeah. Did not look good. Uh, he had surgery. He's out probably for the rest of the year. So the only oh, definitely for the, rest of the, year. the only high spot of that division, uh, now that team's probably going to struggle. <laughs> Sad part is. Well, I don't know, because then you had Andy Dalton come in, Dalton, and, yeah. and Andy, Andy Dalton, Dalton all that of a sudden around. looked like a good quarterback. The sad part is, someone in that division the is red, hosting. The red Rocket. 
someone in that division is hosting a playoff game. Yeah. Someone probably with an either 500 or a losing record is going to host a playoff game because the NFL playoff system is so screwed up. Yeah, crazy. So we'll continue. Um, we'll continue with the scores. Unless you have something else. There is a on a positive note, uh, some other player that had, had the injury and the surgery that Dak Prescott had said that he he will come back better than ever because he he said that that's what happened to him. So hey, not everybody's the same. I mean, hopefully, yeah. Not everybody's the same, but he'll probably. He's young. He'll probably be all right. Hopefully. Yeah, let's hope so. Um, he's an exciting young player and. My Super Bowl team is finally, I think, uh, I can pretty much put an ax on the team I picked to win the Super Bowl. So, there it goes. <laughs> I'm as bad at picking sports predictions as I am at wrestling predictions. <laughs> so, in an right, AFC, so, what other games do we have? In an AFC North battle, we had the Ravens and Lamar Jackson beat up on the Bengals 27-3. This was the first game where Joe Burrow. Bengals. This was the first game where Joe Burrow did not look good. Uh, he, he yeah. did not look good in this game. Uh, now they are one, three, and one. Ravens are four and one. Uh, but yeah, but this was the first game where Joe Burrow looks like a rookie. Uh, he, uh, yeah, that Ravens defense uh pummeled him. Uh, yeah, in a, in a, and now he gets to play the he gets to play the Colts next. Yeah, we'll go the through, number one defense. We'll go through next week's Woo! after this. Uh, in an AFC South battle, which is another terrible division. The one and four Texans beat the Jaguars thirty to fourteen. They are both now one and four. Uh, that division is not good, other than Colts and Titans. Uh, I just nah, Colts uh, and Titans are Colts aren't that good either. So the Titans are gonna run away with it. In a game that kind of shocked me, the Dolphins blew out the 49ers forty three seventeen. I mean, Forty ers did lose their quarterback. So yeah, what the hell? Forty ers did lose their quarterback early in the season, so it kind of makes sense, but. Dolphins win it. They are now two and three, as well as the 49ers are two and three. Dolphins are two and one in the division, so they're not doing terrible. Uh, they have a chance. Yeah. Uh, Browns beat the Colts 32 23. Browns are now four and one as the Colts. What the hell's three. going on? Browns four and one. Steelers four, five and oh. Or Steelers four and oh. That division I mean, is tough. Yeah, we got four and four and one Browns, four and oh Steelers, four and one Ravens. God. And yeah. in the Sunday night game, it was the Seahawks barely beating the Vikings 27-26 on a late second field goal. Seahawks somehow find another way to win. They are now 5-0, and one of only two, three under, two undefeated teams left in the league. I think. Right? Is there only two teams left? Yeah. Um, I think so. And the Vikings fall to 1-4. and four. Uh, yeah, Seahawks running away with that division. Uh, the NC West is not doing too hot. And the Monday night game, we had the Saints beat the Chargers 30 to 27, a come from behind victory in overtime, gets them the win on a field goal. Uh, Drew Brees looked terrible through most of this game. Uh, it, it was not, it was not good. That's Two games in a row for Drew Brees looking bad. I mean, they're winning, but the Chargers rookie looked great for the most part. But then second quarter, second half, he, he kind of fell apart a little bit. Uh, but Saints get the win, so they are now three and two. Chargers fall to one and four. Um, it's just kind of – and then the Tuesday night game, it was Titans and Bills. This game was delayed due to COVID, so they pushed it back. Titans ran away with it, 42 to 16. Titans, oh, Titans are undefeated too. Titans are 4 and 0. Bills are 4 and 1. Both these teams are undefeated going into this game. Uh, both teams in first place in their division. Uh, this was not. I, I expected this to be a close game, but the Titans uh, blew them away. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Packers are undefeated too, but they had a bye this week. So the buys this week were Broncos, Lions, Packers, and Patriots. Uh, right. Two of those are due to uh, COVID. <laughs> Broncos and Patriots were supposed to play, but it has been pushed back. So we will get into next week's schedule. Next week, we've got Titans versus Texans. Well, that's going to be a blowout. Uh, <laughs> Colts versus Bengals, probably going to be a blowout. 
a battle of teams who both desperately need a win. It is Vikings versus Pick Falcons. Uh, both those yeah. teams really need a win. Maybe the Falcons can finally get a win. Um, Broncos and Patriots in the makeup game. That happens next week. Uh, neither team's doing great. So both those who need a win as well. And here we go. Game of the week. Washington football team versus the New York Giants. <laughs> so... Oh, boy. That's going to be a good one. Uh, Ravens play play the Eagles, Browns, and Steelers. That's probably game of the week, at, in all honest. And, like, for real, for real, uh, 4 no Steelers or 4 one Browns. That's probably going to be a good one. Bears travel to play the Panthers. Lions at Jaguars. Jets go to the Dolphins. That would probably be a win for the Dolphins. Packers travel to the Buccaneers. And the Sunday night game, it is Rams and 49ers. And we have two Monday night games because one game was moved to Monday afternoon. We've got Chiefs Bills at 4 p.m. on Monday. Wow, you talk about you talk about a game. Yeah, that's a good game too. Uh, you got Chiefs Bills at 4 p.m. Central Time on Monday. And then at the normal 715 Central, it is Cardinals at Cowboys. So you got some big games, Chiefs, Bills, uh, Browns, Steelers. I mean, you've got some some pretty, pretty, pretty good games uh, next week on the schedule. Yep. And the bye team, Raiders, Saints, Chargers, and Seahawks are all off. So, um, yeah, that's, it's NFL's hanging in there. We'll see. Like I said, that we've had. We've had a, at least five or six teams now that have had to close their facilities for at least two or three days because of COVID. So yeah, we had some it, false it, positives. It's sketchy. We had the Colts uh, had some false positives today. Um, they shut down, and then I guess all the results came back. They realized they were false positives. So that games will be played as scheduled unless something happens between now and Sunday, um, right. <laughs> which could. Very well happened. We're only week six into this season. We've already had a couple games. All these games moved around and canceled and changed. So, yeah, they're uh, this crazy. Uh, we'll 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 see. Sticking with the football, let's go into the college. As one of the big stories coming out this week is Nick Saban has tested positive, um, so he will not be coaching this week. Love you too, buddy. Right. Nick Saban will not be coaching this week as he he tested positive for COVID. Um, I don't know. I don't see how the college football season is going to – we've got – we're about next week is when all the other conferences start playing again, or at least when the Big Ten comes back a week. Right. So we'll have the Big Ten back next week. But, again, we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, yeah. We'll quickly go through the top 25 scores uh, for last week. Um, Clemson. All right. Number one, Clemson beat number seven, Miami, 42-17. to 17. Clemson is rolling through the season. Haven't had a close game yet. Number two, Alabama <laughs> beat Ole Miss, 63-48. Ole Miss gave them a scare. Uh, Alabama ended up getting the win. Number 14, Tennessee loses to number three, Georgia, 44-21. to 21. Number 21, Texas A&M, upset number four, Florida, 41 to 38. Number five, Notre Dame beat Florida State, 42-26. Number eight, North Carolina beat number 19, Virginia Tech, 56 to 45. These are some high-scoring games. It's college, but still. Number 13, Auburn yeah. beat Arkansas, 30 to 28. 15, BYU beat UTSA, 27 to 20. Oklahoma, unranked Oklahoma, beat number 22, Texas, 53-45. Longhorns are back, y'all. Uh, that, that game went into four overtimes. Uh, Oklahoma, the Red River rivalry, and Oklahoma gets the win. That run, that uh, quarterback they have is looking pretty, pretty good. Um, and the number 24, Iowa State, beat Texas Tech, 31-15. to That is your... Uh, Top 25. I'm not going through every game. That's just top 25. Uh, we've had already yeah. had a couple games. We had one game happen already this week. Uh, Louisiana, number 21, got beat. So they're probably going to fall out of the top 25 now. 
Uh, big game right. to watch this Saturday. Not much. Uh, a lot of unranked versus ranked teams. Number three, Georgia at number two, Alabama is the big game. Uh, obviously, like you said, Nick Saban will not be coaching, so we'll see how Alabama responds. And that's about it. Right. That's the only game this week between two top 25 teams. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, we did have the French Open. Uh, it ended not too long ago. Uh, we can see who won those the women's and men's titles there. And uh, golf, I'm not sure. The, the Masters is happening pretty soon, which usually happens in April. So golf and tennis, their seasons are all over the place. I don't know if, it, if the golf season starting back up again already. They, or I don't know what's going on with it. Very confusing. I know they did crown the FedEx champion already, but now we're going to have the Masters in November. So I don't know if it's starting back up then already or what's going on. So, but, uh, and then the French Open, like I said, it, it, it just ended, but usually the French Open's way back in like, like May or something. So, it's, <laughs> so the French the, Open, the tennis and golf season. It was a, uh, the French Open men's side was a pretty familiar site as Rafael Nadal and Djokovic. Uh, faced off Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. Nadal got the win and gets his record tying 20th slam title at the French Open. It's 2020. Nice. And in the women's final, it was Iga Swiatek and Sophia Kinnan. Uh, Iga Swiatek got the win from Poland. Wow. She, uh, did not drop a set the entire tournament. Jeez. She dominated the entire tournament. Iga Swiatek. 19 years old. She said Might be a, I could be could be the future of tennis right there. Uh, but said, usually though, here's the thing is usually the people that are good on clay aren't good anywhere else. She had never oh. – she came in uh, 54th ranked in the world. She would never got past a fourth round or a, of a major. Uh, she's never yeah. won any title, and then she went through, didn't drop a set, and completely dominated the entire tournament. Uh, right. So, it could be a – she could turn out to be like a, a clay specialist. You never know. Yeah. Uh, it could have been be one like of those things main, where, you know, sometimes just a crazy – someone gets on a roll in tennis and – they have one good tournament. Yep. They never do anything ever again. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, let's see. What else we got? What else do we got? Uh, what, when you go through the standings of uh, soccer, uh, Major League Soccer, we don't cover the European soccer here. You know but uh, the Major League Soccer um, – uh, Major League Soccer, uh, Columbus and Cincinnati, the Battle of Ohio for the third time already, even though it's Cincinnati's first season, the third time they played, and they finally beat Columbus. So there you go. Number one team went down. <laughs> my Columbus my Columbus crew got beat. Okay, so the table for the Major League Soccer. We'll start out east, and we'll head west in the east. Again, I'm only going by points because that's how they do it. I will not be doing wins, draws, and losses because that's going to get too confusing. Yeah. So we're just going to do by the points. And so in first place in the East, it is Toronto FC with 38 points. Yeah. Philadelphia Columbus Union. Bill. Philadelphia Union in second with 35. Columbus and Orlando have 31. The New England Revolution have 28. The New York City Football Club has 27. The New York Red Bulls have 24. Nashville, that's the team I picked, is in eighth with 21 points. Montreal Impact with 20. Atlanta United FC is in 10th with 19. Chicago Fire with 19 as well. Inter Milan CF has is in 12th place with 18 points. FC Cincinnati has 16, and DC United has 12. That is your out east standings in the west. 
they only have 12 on this slide because, you know, that's soccer for you. <laughs> and the first place, no surprise here, it is the Seattle Sounders because they're always in first place with 30. But right behind them, with also with 30, it is Portland Timbers. Shocking. <laughs> in third place, it is Sporting Kansas City with 29. LAFC is in fourth with 24. FC Dallas with 24 as well. Minnesota United with 23. San Jose Earthquakes in seventh with 23. Vancouver Whitecaps in eighth with 21. Real Salt Lake with 21 as well in ninth. Colorado Rapids in 10th with 19. Houston Dynamo also with 19. And the LA Galaxy last place with 15. Uh, they do, you know, some teams have the same record, same points, but then they go by tiebreakers and all that kind of stuff. So that's why Seattle right. first place instead of Portland because they've played less games. Have one less loss is what it is. Uh, yeah, they, they have yeah. one less loss. Um, Orlando is now my most hated team in Major League Soccer because <laughs> they knocked out my Columbus Crew, and then they also won that whole MLS was back tournament. And I they only won because it was in Orlando, is what I say. I'm just saying. They were on their home home pitch. Yeah, their home pitch. God, soccer's weird. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Anything else? Uh, let's 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 Any, go. Uh, uh, I don't really think there was any major news out of any other sport like hockey or nothing like that. No, uh, hockey's you know on break. Uh, they're doing they're having trades and free seat and all that kind of stuff. But I am not going to try to figure any of that out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh. I don't know. I don't really know if there's anything, any other scores or news to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got b -b 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 breaking news. Uh, we just reported a while ago that Chris, uh, Chris Saban, wow, uh, Nick Saban, uh, uh, apparently <laughs> he just took another test. He tested negative. So there is a chance that he does coach Saturday. Uh, so we got breaking news on the podcast. We don't usually get that. Uh, so he tested positive there two you go. ago, and now he tested negative. So it could have been another false positive. I'm sure he will take another. If we keep getting all these false positives, I if we keep getting all these false positives in sports, I think they're going to have to do some different kind of testing. It's ridiculous. I don't understand how they keep getting them. Like, what is happening? I don't know. Insanity. Um. Yeah, like I said, I don't think we got anything else uh, news-wise. Uh, maybe eventually I'll talk some boxing. <laughs> Why? But I don't really. Huh? Why well, it's a, it's ever a, it's a, talk it's a, boxing? It's a major sport, you know, yes. for some people. Mm, maybe, I guess, if you want to. Mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know if we have much else to talk about here, unless you want to, I don't know if there's anything else, anything fun or anything uh, interesting you want to bring up or do or... Nah, not really. <laughs> well, all right. Well, I guess... All right. I guess, we'll send it out right now. I guess that's going to do it. Uh, <laughs> just... So thank you very much for joining us. Like I said, we will come up with something else to do on this podcast as the scores are going to continue to dwindle and we're going to have less and less to talk about. We're going to have to come up with something. So if you have anything sports-related you would want us to talk about on this podcast, uh, let me know on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook for that matter. Uh, let me know as we will try to figure it out and cover it. Um, if you want us to do like maybe any segment you could think of that you think would be interesting for us to talk about, let us know because we're always in the need for more ways to keep this interesting and what you guys want. Um, as always, if you do want to get a hold of me or just follow me for all that fun stuff, you can follow me everywhere on the internet at Sabri E N T. That is Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I guess that's not everywhere. 
but it's the most important ones. I don't do any of that other stuff. Uh, you can listen to this podcast anywhere podcasts are available. I am currently trying to get it onto Amazon and Apple because we're not there yet. Uh, that is in the works currently. So hopefully sometime soon you'll be able to get this on Amazon and Apple podcast. Um, yeah. So the links to all that will be in the description uh, if you want to follow all of our social media. So as always, I am Ryan for Nathan reminding you to always score when you can save if you must but always suplex when necessary later